When he wiped away the pathetic tears from his eyes, he found that he had reached the forest's edge, at the outskirts of a vast metropolis. It was a town of leeches, old girl. A city of fiends. What'd I tell you about reading over my shoulder? That's totally rude. You again? What is it now? What? Who are you? Help you? All I ever do is help you. And what do I get in return? Disrespect. You walk all over my godforsaken lawn, ripping up soil I planted by hand. And then what do you do? What do you do? You ask me for handouts. I've never met you before in my life, and I never asked you for anything. Oh, come on, comrade. That line may fly with your friends down at the blood bank, but this is me you're talking to, and I'm no fool. Really, I... I'm not going to argue the day way with you. I'm a busy man. Now listen, Michael... Michael? Your name's Michael, too? Pleased to meet you. Now, we still have the issue of my lawn to deal with. You look penniless. So monetary compensation, I'd imagine, is out of the question. I'm not paying you a dime. I didn't ask for a dime, Roger. No, we're past that stage. Now, I need you to take this to a friend of mine downtown, and fast. So be a good little boy, and bring it to the address listed, and then we can talk. I'll help you out with your little problem, okay? But no consultation until there's payback, you understand? Well, I suppose I don't have much of a choice in this matter, do I? For Christ's sakes, Paul, what kind of attitude is that? Turn that frown upside down! Now, I have something to show you. Something that I think will cheer you up. What the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> it came to me in a dream! Ain't it wild? <laughs> I, uh, I better deliver that package now. I told you he wouldn't understand. They never do. Say. Yeah, are you Ulysses S. Grant? That's me! Why? Why?
Why are you doing this to me? Well, what do you mean? You're not fooling me with that disguise. Disguise? Oh, you mean disguise. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I hope I didn't uh, offend you or anything like that. <laughs> sure. Whatever. You know, I should have expected all this. I'll ever get in this upside down world or jokes at my expense. I give up. You give up? Why is that? Well, I'm sure you somehow know this, but I've been walking for days or weeks or hours. And what do I have to show for it? Trinkets of untruths and misinformation? Oh. And this. You know, I'm no closer to finding them than I was when I started this. So, I'm gonna do what I should have done in the first place and just give up. You looking for him? Yeah, why? <laughs> why didn't you say so? He and I go way back! Enough already with the rogue, please. <sighs> Merry Christmas. Okay, I got a flight for a pelvic exam, so uh, you'll have to thank me later. Sayonara, sailor. Where were you? I thought you were gone forever. That's right. You're not much of a talker, are you? It's fine, it's fine. Listen, my friend. I'm getting this definite feeling of danger. Impending doom, even. Why don't we go home? <laughs> oh. uh. Uh. Uh.
for him, he soon came across the face of a handsome acquaintance, though he was no longer dreaming. You? What are you doing here? I'm doing as I please. Now why don't you do as I please and leave me be? You can't be here. This isn't a dream. Who died made you king? I'll do what I wish, say what I want, and go wherever my little heart I've had enough of your lip. Hey! What games? What's wrong with you? I'm sick of this little game you're playing on me. You win, okay? I've had enough backwards logic and lies from you people to last me a lifetime. That's not saying much. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean nothing! Let go of me! No. You listen to me and you listen good. I'm not letting you go anywhere until you let me know. Ow. My hand, you little creep. Can't you boys behave? Care for a mango, little girl? <laughs> Like I said before, we're peaceful people. Such outbursts are not appropriate. I'm sorry. But how else am I supposed to react to all this? I mean, no one's giving me the truth. They're just mean spirited. Mean and manipulative, and I don't know why. When you really get miserable, son of a slut, huh? Why? Why do you need to know these things? Why don't you just take my advice and accept your destiny? Destiny? Are you saying all this has been predestined? Of course it has. Now don't you think you could use something to watch that mango down with? Something to, I don't know, lighten the mood? I suppose. What? What's wrong with it? Nothing, nothing. I'm just not thirsty. Yes, you are! You are. Why are you also intend on me drinking this? Did you poison this? Of course not. It's just something to make you, um, well... Complacent and willing! Let's take a walk.
wasn't very nice at all. Not very nice, she says. Well, little ghoul, life isn't very nice. Yeah, she deals us nasty cards sometimes, and you just have to, well, deal with it. It ain't always pretty, but you're not left with many alternatives if you catch my drift. Huh? Oh, nothing. Listen, I think we've spent enough time dwelling on the past and all its nastiness. I think it's time to relax. Now be a good little brat and join me for a cup of tea, won't you?